In my dad's storage shed is an old Kawasaki 440 LTD and uh, it's in need of some restoration. It's an older bike, uh, he's had it since uh, I was a young teenager and he's gonna give it to me this Christmas to take home to do a little restoration on. So we've got us yet another motorcycle project in the garage. So, there it is. Check that out. This thing had a couple of uh, carburetor sinking issues, which is rather typical of this particular bike, from what I've understood. So we're going to get this thing cleaned up, get it tuned up. Probably put a set of uh, cafe handlebars on there and de-chrome some of the stuff. Well, here's my dad's 82 KZ440. We've got uh, it pretty much torn down from a lot of the uh, loose accessories and body panels. So we also pulled off the uh, intake boots for the carbs here. And this is what they looked like at first. We've got some splits in them. They didn't appear to tear all the way through. But this one is actually what's inside of that boot when the boot slips off of it. And that's what happened to that one. These KZ440s were notorious, well, even the 400s, they were notorious for having really bad carburetor problems. And I can tune it, I can fix it, I can do a lot of things with it, and I'm sure I can make it run right. I have in the past, but parts for these things are incredibly scarce. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, eliminating these carburetors and going with a much more simple single setup using this uh, brass intake manifold that I've assembled here. We're going to run the carb out the side because it'll be a custom chopper look to it. It'll give it a completely... Uh, unique look, look, look all together and um, I think it'll look kinda cool and it should not affect performance too much because well we're not racing this thing so I think it should run just fine now both cylinders fire, fire 360 degrees apart so they actually both have the intake stroke completely opposite of one another so they should not be affecting uh, this type of intake in this shape should not affect the air fuel mixture being delivered to one cylinder or the other so neither one should be robbing from one another so I think this should run just fine so here's the single carb mock-up with the manifold that you see in here. That's what we've got set up. The carb sticks out on the side, which will fit an air cleaner or something over it. But it's reminiscent of uh, what a lot of Harley-based cruisers have, with the carb sticking out on the side. It may stick out a little further than I want it to, but uh, I sat on it and it clears my knees when I sit down, so we're good. I think I'm going to eliminate the rubber boots on here as well and weld on um, brass flanges to the end of this intake that we've got so that way I can eliminate the problems with these things leaking. <laughs> 